Makers, doers, hackers, how tours? How is it going? I am super pumped for today's make. Oh yeah! This is not what I was originally going to do, but I got this box in the mail today that I is something I've been working on for the last six months, and I was just too excited to share a sneak peek with you guys. Uh, uh, I, I really wanted to get this out and get some feedback from the community uh, so that hopefully it can be a, a better product. And yes, it is a product. I'm sorry if it is somewhat self-promotional, but stick with me for just a second because I think you'll, you'll be interested. Um, I set about doing cleaning kits on uh, my, my site about nine months ago, and uh, I bundled together you know, your traditional um, old-fashioned PCB drill bit kits uh, that are tungsten carbide that you see out there and I just uh, packaged them in a 10 pack from 0.2 all the way up to 1.2 and it was actually really well received it sold well but there was like 30 out of the thousand I sold there was like 30 returns which is actually not bad for for uh, defect rate but it was way worse than I wanted it to be uh, so um, if you've ever used these you know that they kind of suck you get them in there and uh, they'll just crack off especially at the smaller sizes they can bore out the hole of your nozzle and um, make that you know useless. So this this idea, uh, it seems time, but it's out. I need something new. I need something different. Uh, and I came up with something that I haven't seen anybody else doing. And I'm curious to know what you guys think. So rewind a little bit. Six months ago, I started going for version two. And I started looking around at different things that were out there. I came across some um, really cool acupuncture needles that were the right size on the smaller end, but they didn't get up to the to the higher end. But uh, the material was right. Spring steel bends, doesn't doesn't crack, doesn't break, isn't brittle. Uh, that was good. Um, giving myself acupuncture accidentally was not good. Uh, so liability-wise, I didn't like it. Uh, also, just packaging these together in, in a fashion, I was having a hard time coming up with that. Uh, so ultimately that, that one was out. Um, and I looked at a couple of other things like, uh, weld, welding tip cleaning kits. Uh, if you're into welding, you know that, that, uh, there's, there's kits for cleaning out the tips on your, on your welder. Um, and the sizes weren't quite right there. A lot of those were a little too big, but again, it was getting into the right realm and the ideas kept flowing. And then I came across this, and this is actually a luthier's file kit. And I'll put pictures up so you guys can see closer up. But basically what it is is a luthier is somebody who builds guitars. And when you're building a guitar at the neck of the guitar, there's a, there's a piece called the nut. And you need to file that down where the strings lay across the neck of the guitar. Uh, and getting that height right is really important. So you need a fine tool to just move, you know, remove millimeters or fractions of millimeters of material at a time. And so these little file kits are made just for that. And they happen to be in the right size and the right material. The only downside was that they had filing on them. And of course that's no good because we don't want to bore out the nozzle hole on our printers. So uh, I started talking to different suppliers and I finally found one that was willing to do a trial run, make uh, some without the filing. And that is what I have today. Finally, after all, all of this time, they've sent me these and I, Came up with a nice little packaging for it. These are not released yet. This is still a sneak peek. And it's exactly what I just showed you. They're bundled together. They're sizes from 0.2 millimeters all the way up to 1.2. It goes 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, etc., etc. So uh, they do all of the, the standard size nozzles. Uh, there's that spring steel, so they're flexible. And um, they work great. I've tested them. Uh, my favorite thing is I have a lot of direct drive extruders uh, on my printers. I have some Bowden too, but um, on a direct drive, if you ever have had that problem where the uh, hob nut just ends up grinding your filament down and you can't actually get it out without having to take apart your entire extruder, getting a, a cleaning knob in there and pushing it out from the underside so that you can just pull it out and not have to take apart your entire extruder is incredibly valuable and saves a lot of time. Uh, so that in and of itself uh, was a godsend for me. But I also use them when I'm refurbishing my old nozzles. I'll put them in an acetone bath, uh, heat them up, and then I'll just clean them out. And it's nice and easy. They are not brittle. They bend. They come back to their shape. The only problem, and that's why I'm sharing with you guys, I'm hoping that the community might have some good suggestions for me, is um, I've got them on a ring. 
there's not a good way to tell them all apart, especially at the smaller sizes. I need a better labeling thing. My supplier just wasn't able to come up with something that they could work with. And so I was thinking, well, you know, I'd rather get this out and, and start looking at it. And um, maybe we can 3D print something like tags or something at the top, do a little color coding. I've tried tape, I've tried stickers, you know, that it works, but it, it's kind of hokey. And of course you can always hunt through and just find the one you want. But, you know, I, I'm looking for ideas to make this a little bit more useful. And I hope to release this within the next uh, couple weeks or so with a model that I can direct people to on Thingiverse or whatever so they can download and print something that goes right on the kit. So if you have ideas, I want to hear about it. Please leave me a comment. Send me a tweet. However you want to get in touch. I appreciate the support. I hope that this is interesting to you guys. And I, 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 I'm excited to get this out in the wild. Have a good night.